Hey everybody, Makon Jovu here. Welcome to my brand new baby. Well, it's Moments with Mako, the food edition. On this week's episode, I am taking you to my hometown, my pride and joy, Bulawayo. I'm gonna share with you where we go eat, where we hang out, and just generally how fly we are. Okay, you guys, episode number one is loading right now. All right, so here we go. On this three episode series, I'm gonna be having the team travel around Bulawayo. We're going to food festivals, we're going to restaurants. But on this week's episode, our Moments with Mako team travel to Gondovu, which is a homestead right outside of Bulawayo. They have the most delicious traditional food. Now, what you're seeing right now is this chala. It's essentially cooked maize and it's a Zimbabwean staple. And pair that with collard greens or umbita as we call it, and oh my gosh, it is delicious. Enjoy. Oh, Now look at that gorgeous scenery. Just imagine savoring a delicious meal, washing it down, le coke, le fanta, or water, or some other spirits if you like, and just taking in all that beauty. As for how we eat this delicious food, well, this is how it goes down. <laughs> Excuse me, but please pass the aromat. No meal is complete unless you put some aromat on it. Now this might be new to some of you guys, but amaklimbi are just one of my most favorite things to eat when I am at home. Uh, to describe the flavor to you, they're crunchy and just really packed with flavor. They're called mopane worms because they feed on the leaves of mopane trees after they hatch in the summer. Ah, such a wonderful, mouth-savoring, delicious delicacy. I gotta have it every time I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Just five minutes to seven minutes. Because the people come over if I leave food. I'll phone out to eat in my food. I know you're curious about the taste. So sorghum has a mild earthy flavor. Its texture and flavor is similar to wheat berries. And the flour really is like that wheat-like gluten-free flour. You gotta eat it with your hands though. No forks and knives here, uh-uh. Okay, so la la nubanga nubamba, my fellow foodies. This is only episode one. We've got so much more to explore. So I'll see you same time, same place next week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.